a qualsiasi ora sono però contento di partecipare al vostro incontro. Welcome to the explanation about the Sunday of the Word. Pope Francis has declared the third, third, Sunday, uh, third Sunday of the ordinary time to be the Sunday of the Word of God. A Peru it is date 26th, January 2020, which will be a Sunday to celebrate, to study. And to spread the word of God. His explanation Pope Francis talks about the Gospel of Luke chapter 24 verse 45 where the Lord opened and the Word of God. On this Sunday, the Word of God will be given a forefront and will be explained more in the homily whereby we'll be reflecting about the sons of Israel when they came back from Babylonian exile and they sat down and listened attentively to the word of God. That is Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 3. And after hearing the word of God, they were carried with emotions, and most of them shed their tears. This means the word of God has close connection to make the people of God one. Bishops, priests, deacons, religious men and women, and the catechists have a greater role in explaining the word of God that can be understood well by the people. This is done the same way Christ did after his resurrection, whereby he made the two disciples on their way to Mount going to Jerusalem, that is Luke chapter 24, 24, verse 13 to 35. And he was able to explain to them the word of God, beginning from Moses, to all the prophets because faith comes from listening to the word of God and at the end of it all he broke the bread and their eyes were open and they recognized Jesus Luke chapter 24 verse 31 this shows that the word of God and the connection between the word of God and the Eucharist and the Eucharist whereby the word of God and the sacraments are inseparable. St. Paul also emphasizes on the importance of the word of God on his second letter to Timothy where he says, the word of God has power. It is used to warn the people of their wrongs. It is also used to guide the people and to teach them about justice. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Pope, Pope also explains about the work of the Holy Spirit that it is not only used during or inspiration during its writing but it is still active on those who hear the word of God. This shows a close connection between the word of God and the holy traditions of the church that it cannot be separated because all are guided by the same spirit. Pope Francis winds up by going back to the readings whereby he talks about the completion of the prophecy to those who listen to it. Ezekiel, when told by God that he should eat the scroll of the word of God, he said, in my mouth, the word of God was as sweet as honey. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 3. His completion of the word of God is seen during the transfiguration of Jesus, whereby Moses and Elijah appeared. And that's why St. Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. That is Luke chapter 9, verse 33. This shows the completion and the fulfillment of the word of God. 
how will this Sunday be celebrated? First, you'll have a procession whereby the book of the gospel will be carried. In the absence of the book of the gospel, then the Bible will be carried. Of which, on reaching the altar, this book will be placed on a special humble where it has been prepared. This will be followed by incensing, songs about the Bible, gospel, and Holy Spirit will be sung to remind the people of the working of the Holy Spirit in this word of God. Before the readings, the lectors will come before the priest to receive special blessings, and then proceed to read the word of God. After acclamation of Alleluia, the gospel will be read, and after the gospel, Alleluia will be sung again. The priest will give the homily, whereby in this homily, he will explain the importance of the word of God to a Christian calling. A moment of silence should be observed after the, after the, after the homily. Then afterwards, there will be special blessings for new lectors who have been appointed if they are there. Then we'll have the giving of the Bible as a symbolic way to the Christians to show that they have to read the Word of God. The end of it all, we'll have a commitment from all the Christians that they are committed to proclaiming the Word of God to the entire world. I've been your priest, Father Mika Tibet Kemboi, to Msifu Yesu Christo, and let us proclaim the word of God.